Hey, it's Lauren. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I am talking all about Glossier. I picked 10 products that I think are their best products. At least they are my favorite products from them. I have been using them for a very long time, for years since they launched. I know it's 2022. Who wants more Glossier content? But that's what I'm filming today. I have tried everything that they have come out with, so yes. I have, I have thoughts and I am going to share them with you internet. So let's just dive into it. I'm going to start with the thing that I have purchased the most, repurchased the most, been using for years. I guess this is actually probably like this would be number one if I was to actually put them in order. But this is Glossier's Milky Jelly Cleanser. Fresh from my shower with only about a pump left to go. Kind of boring for a thing to be the, the number most repurchased item from them by me. It is just a no frills, does its job, super reliable cleanser. I use this as both a first wash and a second wash. First wash, first cleanse, and a second cleanse. So it does a good job of taking makeup off and cleansing my skin as well. This, like I said, it's a very uninteresting uh, favorite to have, but it is so gentle and non-irritating. And I have tried so many cleansers over the years that have like all of these different things to them. And I, I don't need too much for my cleanser. I just need it to work. I just need it to clock in, do the job and clock out. Not cost too much money. Yes. This is like an OG Glossier product back when they still like crowd sourced their products on into the gloss. They would like ask like what people wanted. They still do that from like time to time, but they really like used everyone's comments uh, when, when they were launching this. Cause I believe this was like their first skincare product since they first launched with makeup and then they got into skincare. This, um, one of the things I remember is people talking about how they wanted it to be able to be something that you could open your eyes while you're cleansing, kind of like contact solution situation. And this is how that's formulated. So it's not irritating. Yeah. So love this boring unsexy favorite i'm just gonna keep on with the things that i have purchased repurchased the most the next most repurchased thing from me to them by them of them is the glossier lash slick mascara now this is definitely it has to be the type of mascara that you like I don't do well with mascaras that are too like fluffy and thick. Uh, it just ends up building and building and like in a way where then I have like two eyelashes, just two clumpy things going on. I need something that just lengthens and separates because anything else is just gonna make a weird heaviness. This doesn't flake. It just makes my lashes look long and separated and really pretty. And it doesn't annoy my eyes like a lot of mascaras do, where I like end up like doing this throughout the day. I don't do that when I wear this. And I don't get the weird, like dusty, crusty specks that happen right here as the day goes on either. So yes, I like this. This is like my fourth, my fourth tube of it. I also like this type of wand for really getting into the like the little guys in the in the base. My bottom lashes. That's the term I was looking for. It is a spiky wand though, so careful. It will hurt if you put it in your eyeball. Another thing that I have repurchased a bunch, also making a fresh debut from my shower, is the Glossier Body Hero Daily Oil Oily Daily Oil Wash. This smells wonderful of neroli. I really like using this when it's dry and my skin needs a little extra something. I will use this. I also love to shave my legs with it. It just smells good and feels good. Out of all of the body products that they have released, 
This is my favorite. It has a nice milky frothiness that builds. It's moisturizing, but it doesn't like linger on your body. I am on my third bottle of Glossier U perfume. Each time I'm holding up the product, I like have my pinky out like I'm at tea. Curl that in. The Glossier U perfume is very beautiful. Uh, I think it's supposed to be a dupe for, is it Molecule One? Um, I think that's what everybody was saying when it came out. It's like floral in a non-offensive way. It really like mixes well with with whatever other scent you have going on, like I can layer it with other perfumes. It's like bright and peppery and like breezy, youthful. Let's just get abstract with the descriptions. And effervescent, but with a hint of something. It's described as being like an iris scent, which I do agree with. It has a bit of like peony, I'd say to it, and rose, but rose in like the way where you're just like smelling like an individual rose petal and not like the rose scent that you get when you smell um, a perfume rose, if that translates at all. It's very hard to describe scents. Okay, so maybe these actually would have been number one. It would have been a tie if I was to have actually ordered these between the Glossier <laughs> Milky Jelly and the Glossier Cloud Paint blushes. These are beautiful. These are like, it's weird to say something that's only been around for like five years as like the OG cream blush, but like these really, I felt like helped kick off the insane trend that we are in with cream and like liquid cream blushes. The shade range of these is absolutely beautiful. I have a whole swatch video that is several years old, but clearly these are still popular because it is one of my most consistently viewed videos even to this day. I'm wearing a mix of Dusk and Storm right now. I have them kind of like blended in with one another. There's literally a blush for like any mood here. I really get kind of seasonal about them. Like in the summer, I really gravitate towards these like bright orangey ones, both Spark and Dawn. And I really like wearing them with like a bright red lip. And then right now I'm, you know, transitioning out of winter when I like a little bit more like of the deeper shades like Eve and Storm usually mix with Dusk. And I like that kind of like terracotta vibes, but now it's like spring, even though I didn't go for that vibes today. I love like the sort of nice lightness that is both Beam and the bright beauty that is Puff. And then Haze is cute. She's cute too for spring. Another product that is super hyped up, but I think is quite lovely is the Glossier Future Dew. Second bottle of this. This is like glass skin in, in a bottle. It's kind of confusing. It's, is it skincare? Is it makeup? It's like in between. It's kind of a primer. It's kind of a serum. It just adds a beautiful extra glow. And it is a great mixing product. So if you have a thicker foundation uh, or you wanna like make more of like a dewy blush, this is great for you. You can mix it with these to make something really, really like juicy looking for the cheeks um, or you can mix it in with a sort of more full coverage foundation to create something sheer. This is really wonderful for, also it, it looks really beautiful paired with foundation. I have it on today with the uh, Kosas foundation and they pair quite lovely together. These are one of the newer releases that I am including in the video. This is the Glossier Ultra Lip. It's like their cashmere lip. Is that just the tagline or is that actually part of it? I have been slowly picking these up since they've launched. The stick is a little bit big for for at least my upper lip, so I have to be a little bit careful. But I love this moisturizing. Some of these are more of like a tint of color and then the rest of them are just like actually like super opaque and juicy looking. But I love the way they feel. Really great colors. I'd say my favorite colors are Cachet, Ember, and Villa. Villa is like 
a kind of like my lips but better color for me it's a really nice rosy pink i definitely need a lip liner with it uh because it really kind of like like most my lips but better color kind of like blends in with the skin a little bit and if i'm quite red at the moment it blends in completely let me know if you would be interested in a lip swatch video of these happy to do that if if you are so interested. The other super new product is the Glossier After Balm Moisture Barrier Recovery Cream. I've been playing with this for about a month now. Beautiful, beautiful moisturizer. A nice, occlusive, helps with damaged skin. Glossier is always one to jump onto any trends, and right now, the trend in skincare is healing, um, occlusive, moisturizers you know with the whole um slugging that is super popular but also like recovery bombs are super huge right now which of course it's always like a ping pong situation where we were just like inundated with acids and exfoliants and things like that for so long that of course now it's all about fixing fixing what was broke by the companies. I use a very, very small amount on my face. It is quite rich, so with that, um, it can feel very tacky. Very nice under makeup and wonderful at night, but I mainly use it on my body. I have insanely dry hands. I have a seven month old daughter and my hands are just destroyed from washing them constantly and just putting a little bit of it on my knuckles after I've washed my hands has been wonderful. Also put it on my elbows and I have some itchy spots on my legs and I put that on over top of whatever topical cream that I'm using to address the issue and this has been quite lovely. Last two products I'd say are two of the most underrated products by Glossier. The first one being the powder brush. This launched when they came out with Glossier Wowder and although it is for powders and specifically a face powder, I like using this as all types of products. I will use it as a powder bronzer brush, but I really like it for creams. I think it does a wonderful job of like picking up off the back of your hand and dispersing in a really, really beautiful way. So something I think is slept on, but is quite nice. Don't care for their eyeshadow brush much, but this is quite wonderful. And then lastly, this is the, I think, most underrated product from them, and it is their concealer. This is beautiful. I'm currently using shade G11, and I'd say this is the best color match that I have picked up. It is nice as a concealer, but it is amazing as a foundation. I wish they would release like a stretch foundation here at some point. Really beautiful, soft focus sort of skin plays really beautifully with other products and yeah it just makes my skin look great love it on the under eyes it's okay at covering up breakouts it's not like a breakout concealer but like it says stretch concealer moves with the skin it's an emollient but without being greasy it's illuminating without being heavy all right that wraps up my favorite I think are the best products from Glossier. Let me know if you are interested in a video about the worst products from Glossier, my least favorite. Happy to do that if someone, if anyone, even one person is interested, let me know. All right, I hope you're doing really well and this was helpful if you are interested in Glossier, even now after so many years of them being out. All right, I hope you all are doing well and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.